Hey, it's your boy Easy, and on today's episode of Easy Opens, we'll be taking a look at the 1990 movie Donatello figure from NECA. So let's get this figure free from its really awesome plastic prison, take a look and see what we think about Donatello. Alright, so here's Donatello fresh out the box with all of his accessories. Now, if you've already watched the Leonardo video, you've already heard me talk about how excited I am about these figures, and I still am excited about these figures. Like I said in the other video, I didn't think we'd be getting them in this scale, but here they are, and I can't wait to talk about it. So let's go ahead and get some stuff out of the way, some basic stuff out of the way, just in case you don't know who these turtles or who Donatello is. So. The Turtles were created by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird in the 80s. They were comic book characters that got turned into cartoon characters, and then they were turned into toys, and then they made their way to the movies uh, via the 1990 movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, live action movie, I should say. And uh, yeah, that's what these figures are based on, and that's what the box art is based off of too, uh, the, the actual VHS, which is insanely awesome that they did it that way. Donatello is basically the brains of the team. He's their tech support, if you will. He's also generally a skeptic when it comes to things like metaphysical elements and spiritual elements and things of that nature. Uh, he's very science-based, and according to the uh, 1987 animated series cartoon, he does machines. So take that for what you will. And when he's not doing machines, his weapon of choice is a wooden bow staff. So thankfully NECA decided to include that uh, as an accessory. So speaking of that, let's go ahead and talk about more of the accessories that this figure comes with. All right, so Donatello comes with one bow staff, two pointing hands, two gripping hands, one slice of pizza, one windblown purple variant of his bandana, and one TCRI ooze canister. This figure stands approximately six and a half inches tall, according to the back of that really awesome box. And so I took a lot of comparison shots, so please bear with me. This is gonna take a minute, but I think it's gonna be worth it because a lot of people wanna know how these figures measure up to some other figures uh, and other lines. So uh, yeah, I figured I'd take a whole bunch and you know see what happens. Having said that, let's go ahead and see how he measures up to some other figures you might have in your collection. So starting off, here's the whole movie turtle team from NECA. Here they are with the 1987 animated series Shredder figure from NECA. Here they are with the comic version of Shredder from NECA. Here they are with the Marvel Legends Mary Jane figure. Here they are with the 1987 animated series Foot Soldier figure from NECA. Here they are with the comic version of the Foot Soldier from NECA. And here he is with the Toon version of Donatello from SH Figuarts and the Toon version of Donatello from NECA. Here he is with SH Figuarts Kamen Rider Build. And here he is next to Masters of the Universe Classics Merman. Here he is with Bandai's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy White Ranger figure and Marvel Legends Tiger Stripe Wolverine figure. Here he is with Marvel Selects Rhino and Storm Collectibles Sub-Zero figures. Here he is with DC Universe Classics Joker and DC Collectibles Batman figure. Here he is with the black and white comic version of Donatello from NECA and the colored bandana knockoff comic version of Donatello from NECA. Here he is with Bebop and Rocksteady from the Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classics figures. And here they are with the Mousers from Playmates 2012 line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. All right, so let's talk about the paint and sculpt on Donatello. So just like the Leonardo figure, um, NECA did an amazing job paint and sculpt wise, just 
on the whole. This figure looks like it walked off the screen and onto my shelf, and that is fantastic. Uh, much like Leonardo, the, 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 like I said on the Leonardo review, that the uh, plastic that they use is very reminiscent of the Playmates plastic that they used. Not necessarily like it's one for one, but it evokes a lot of the same feeling that it's like, this is a different plastic, so it feels like the turtles are a little bit more alive, if you will. And maybe that's just me sensationalizing everything, but that is replicated here in this Donatello figure. And uh, the sculpt is fantastic. It looks amazing. Now, granted, I believe that a lot of parts reuse are going on in, in these figures, and that's fine because, you know, they're brothers, so they're going to share genetic code anyway. So, uh, <laughs> so you know, th I, I think that that's okay. And uh, But where, where the figures differ are the spots on their, their, they're different, I guess you could call them freckles, if you will. So that lets us know that basically it's not just, you know, they made a whole bunch of left arms and then right arms and left legs and right legs and just put them on the different turtles and just gave them a different head. So they did a little bit of extra stuff with the, with the paint to make these figures be a little bit more unique as opposed to being just all uniform with just a different head. So you can see that also in the, the knee pads and the elbow pads where the paint differs from figure to figure. So that's cool. So it gives it, it breaks it up a little bit and that's, that's, that's a nice touch so that it doesn't just look like, you know, a mass produced uh, line of just the same figure, but with a different head. And so, yeah, as I mentioned before, um, Playmates ma made the, the movie figures back in the day and they look different than the regular figures due to the plastic and the way it felt and it felt more kind of rubbery, I guess. And you don't really have, it's not rubber, but it does have a different texture on these figures and it's awesome. And the way the paint that they used mixes with whatever plastic they used makes the figure feel more alive and also has like a slight shine to it to where it looks a little wet not not gross wet but like the light reflects off of it in a way that just makes it look alive and that is awesome like it's ridiculous and so yeah they killed it with this figure and again the face sculpt is where these figures excel because if you get the faces wrong, then the bodies can look cool, but the faces, if they don't look like the movie, then what do you have? You know, you just have like some sort of figure that kind of sort of resembles the movie figures. And thankfully, NECA knew, are, are their fanboys and really love this line and put their heart and soul into it. And so they nailed the Donatello face sculpt. Like, like I said in the Leonardo uh, review, there's times where I look at this figure and I'm like, oh, that's from that scene or, oh, that's from that scene. And I can't speak highly enough about the paint and sculpt on this figure. There's so much detail in the shading and the paint that just accentuates all of the uh, the detail in the sculpt, the veins and the arms and the musculature. Just everything about this figure is done with like artistic perfection. And I'm going to stop fanboying right now. And we're going to talk about the articulation that you're going to get out of this Donatello figure. All right, so let's take a look at the articulation you're gonna get out of this Donatello action figure. So let's start with the head. So the head is on a ball joint, so you'll get 360 rotation out of the neck, and uh, he can look up this far. Let's see if I can get that to look right. He can look up that far, he can look down a good distance, his head can go side to side really well, and uh, his bandana is uh, just pegged in there, so you can just remove it if you need to, and you can flip it side to side if need be. Uh, his arm, his arms will go out this far and they have 360 rotation at the shoulder as well as um, 360 rotation at both sides of the elbow so the elbow is double jointed and uh, you, you've got uh, swivels on both sides of the elbow he also has um, uh, removable hands so they've got 360 rotation since they just pegged in there and uh, these particular hands can move front to back and yeah um, let's move to his legs. His legs can go out this far. They can go forward that far and back not so far because they're hindered by the shell. His knees are double jointed and he does have a swivel on the uh, top part of his knee. Uh, he also has a slight swivel on the top part of his thigh and he has ankle rockers so you get full range of motion on the foot. Um, 
Then he has some slight tor torso articulation. It's hindered by the shell, obviously, but you can get some side to side movement. It gives you a little bit of literal wiggle room to uh, help get the figure in a uh, pose that you would want for whatever shot or, or pose you're gonna have him in. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much all the articulation that you're gonna get out of this Donatello action figure. Donatello is one of those turtles that uh, seems to have gotten a lot more popularity as people got older. It seems like they started to, uh, kind of like how nerd culture became popular culture now all of a sudden, it seems like Donatello all of a sudden became everyone's favorite turtle because if I remember correctly back in the day, there were very few people who wanted to be Donatello on the playground. And now that's completely turned around and it's probably pretty uh, evenly spread for all the turtles nowadays, I would imagine. But, um, but it is really neat to see Donatello get some love uh, in popular culture and just in general turtle fandom. Having said that, he was never, I never disliked Donatello. I, I always appreciated him and stuff, and especially in the video games because he had a far greater reach with his bow staff than any of the other turtles. So that was always helpful when you're trying to uh, save your quarters in the arcade. Here we have one of the best representations in plastic action figure form of Donatello that we will probably ever get. NECA nailed this figure. So good. It looks fantastic. As I said about Leonardo, much can be the, much the same can be said for Donatello. Everything about this figure is everything I could have ever wanted in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live action 1990 movie and NECA delivered on all fronts. The only thing I wish they would have done was uh, included a, co a cowboy hat or a straw hat for when uh, you know you put him in the car and he's uh, trading, uh, trading insults with Casey Jones. But that's about it. That's really the only thing I could say that Donatello needs uh, for, uh, as an accessory for this, uh, this line of figures. But that's a, that's a minor nitpick. However, what we got is fantastic. The, the, his bow staff is really cool and it's simple, but yet, you know, it's, it's what you'd expect from someone who's spent all their life uh, in the sewers and have had the bow staff in the sewers. I imagine it would look dingy and be the way that it looks, and it looks fantastic. Again, much of the parts are reused on these turtles, so a lot of the things I said for Leo can be said for Donnie. And that's not a bad thing. Like I've said, given that they're uh, brothers and they share the same genetic code uh, in, in story, they probably share the same uh, parts and stuff in plastics. So you can't really fault them for that. And like I said at the beginning, this is one of the best versions of Donatello we will ever get. I can guarantee you that. Like the amount of detail and stuff that NECA pulled off with this and how they're able to evoke not only the look from the movie to make it look like it walked off the screen and onto our shelves, but they also replicated, not rep, I keep saying replicated, I need to say like uh, simulated the same feeling that Playmates did when they switched the plastic for their line of movie figures uh, to, to evoke a different kind of feeling with, to, to make them feel like they're special or that they're alive, if you will. And that's how, or at least that's what it, it means or makes me feel. And so, um, so yeah, NECA killed it with this on all fronts. And I could not be happier to actually own and have these figures in my hand as we speak right now. This is fantastic. If you're a Turtles fan, you need to own these figures. If you're an action figure fan, you need to own these figures. If you're a movie fan, you need to own these figures because these are fantastic uh, works of art and super fun to play with. And I am so beside myself that we actually have these and this is fantastic and so thanks NECA for doing this you did a great job and again like I said if you don't have these if you're gonna buy any turtles figures this year you need to do your best to make sure that these are the figures that you get because you will not be disappointed all right, well, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. And if you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. And if you want to, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button as well. And if for some strange reason you want to hear more from me, you can do that by checking the links below to my other podcast, where a friend and I actually talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on a podcast called Turtle Soup. Uh, that comes out every other week and then uh, my wife and some friends of ours we talk about a different record usually every other week uh, when we actually do it on a on a show called Daydream Nation so there you go uh, thanks so much again for watching and be sure to check back here often for more opening goodness right here on Easy Opens Else Time <laughs>